Now I'm going to tie a really, really simple caddis pupa. The hook I'm using is a knapek size 12 and for nymph. The thread is a olive MP thread. For the body I am going to use alpaca dubbing. This dubbing that I have is made by Stefan Lindström, a cool Norwegian fly fishing dude. I myself tie them in about six different colors from light green or olive to dark olive brown, yellow, grey, orangey colors. But you can of course tie, tie them in any color you want to match the hatch. Okay, so you can either split the thread like I'm doing or you can make a dubbing loop and use a dubbing twister. I prefer to split the thread. Now put some wax on it. I really don't like fly tying waxes. I think I said it before because they are just so runny. I mean this one is sticky yet it's really really dry. You can probably hear it stick. But there is nothing on my finger. But when I take my dubbing and touch it to the thread I mean you can see how well it works and the best thing is it, it's not going to melt in the sun because this one has been standing in my window in the sun all day nothing and that's really important that it doesn't melt So yeah, we are going to build up the body, just make it a bit thicker in the back. Because the cat is they do have a bit of a fat ass. I'm just gonna lightly use my velcro brush and brush out some fibers which are going to trap air bubbles when it's sinking or help it float when it's floating. For the rest of the fly I'm going to use CDC there's definitely no need to overdo it, so I'm going to take this feather and cut it in half. And I'm going to use just one side of the feather. That's about, I don't know, maybe two centimeters. Or CDC. Plus, as you can see, that the fibers are not really that close together on this one, so. So it's not a lot. Of course you can it's always easier to remove CDC than to put more on, so it's better to overdo it. And then if, if you see that it's too much, you just tear out some, some of the extra fibers. Again, split the thread, 
just a bit of wax. And again, spin the bobbin. that and make sure all the fibers point backwards Feel this nice little head. And we finish. And there you have it. A really simple wet and dry caddis pupa 